Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of else if later. Now we try to understand the use of it first. When we can go for else if later? When we have many possibilities. For example, suppose we take the example of the mark sheet. So student can have multiple possibilities. Like if student get more than 90%, we can say that uh, the rank or the grade he secured is A plus grade. If student is having more than 80, then it may be A grade. If it is more than 70, it is B plus. If it is more than 60, it is B. If it is more than 50, it is C. If it is more than uh, 40, then it is D. And if it is less than 40, then it is fail. So in this case, there are many possibilities. Around seven possibilities are there. For a single student and a single subject, there are seven different possibilities. So if we will be using this with the help of or if, if we will be implementing this with the help of efails and nested efails, the program will be very much complex because we need to put efails within efails within efails and so. So to reduce the complexity and to solve the purpose or to select one option or one solution out of many solutions given, we are having the concept of else if later. Okay. Now, we look at the syntax first. So from syntax, we can get to know that why it is considered to be label. Okay, why it is considered to be, sorry, why it is considered to be later. So you might have seen later. In later, there are many sticks, okay, in between. And by using this, we can able to climb somewhere. Likewise, in else if later, we can have if statement here and we have else statement here and all these are else if statement else if statement so how many else if statement that depends upon our requirement but there will be one if statement one else statement this else is not mandatory but still generally there should be if else but in between these two, we'll be having one or many else if statements that purely depends on our requirement. We just look at the syntax that there is if, then we need to have the condition. If this condition is true, then this block will be executed. Very simple, we have, we have already seen this. Then after, we come over here. But when we come over here, if you look at that, there is a combination of else and if. It means if you are having greater than 90 marks, then you are having A plus grade. But if you don't have greater than 90, we cannot say that you are fail. Okay. Because there are so much possibilities in between A plus grade and fail. So we cannot simply say that you are fail. What we need to do? We need to check another condition. So if the first condition is false, that if I have not secured more than 90, then I need to check, have I secured more than 80? So to check that, we have if statement here. Okay, with another condition. But it is not only if statement, it is else if statement. The meaning of else if statement means what? If this condition is false, then only it will come over here and check this condition. Again, I repeat. If this particular if condition is false, then it will come to the else part. But in else, we are checking the condition. We will not simply print. In if else, what we have done? That if block is or the condition with if is not satisfied, we will be directly printing the else condition or the block within the else. But here we will not be doing that. If this particular condition is wrong, then we go to else part 
and in else part we will be checking that this condition 2 is satisfied or not if this is satisfied then only true block 2 will be executed suppose this condition is also false then it will again come to the next if but again in else along with else we have if so it will check the condition if this condition is true then only it will execute this part and likewise we can have many else if later according to our requirement and at last if all above conditions are false again i will repeat it if all above conditions are false then only at last the else block will be executed so for example we have positive negative and zero in this case we have three possibilities so what we can do one we can write if number greater than zero then it is positive but if this condition is false then what we can do we can check else else if number less than zero then we can say that it is negative means if it is greater than zero it should be positive now it will come over here when when the value of number is not greater than zero it means now there are two possibilities it is either zero or less than zero so in else part we will be checking whether it is less than zero or not if the value is less than zero then we can say it is negative but if it is neither greater than zero nor less than zero then simply we will be writing that it is zero okay because a number if it is neither greater than zero nor less than zero then what is the case remaining that is the number is zero itself so in this case there will be one if statement one else statement and total three possibilities so out of three possibilities one is served with if one is served with else so how many are left only two possibilities are there left sorry only one possibility is left so we have only one else one else if later i hope you are understanding again we will be taking one example here so it will be more clear for you to understand so this is very simple example i am taking that here we have how many options we have four options okay four options one is a grade when it is a grade greater than 80 it is a grade greater than 60 it is b grade greater than 40 it is c grade and if it is less than 40 then fail ff so now total how many possibilities are there total four possibilities are there so first of all we will start with if statement the first possibility we are maintaining or we are managing with the help of if statement we are writing that if marks greater than 80 so any value greater than 80 if it is true then we will be directly printing a grade and then since this condition is true this block this block and this block will be skipped because see it will only execute when this condition becomes false because else is there else is there okay agar ye aapki condition sahi hai to niche ki koi condition execute hogi nahi seedha yahan se kahan chala jayega it will come outer of the else if leader block lekin if the condition this condition is false then it will move to the next condition it will move to the else part but it is not only else if it it is else along with if why because this condition is false it means i am not following into a grade so now still there are how many possibilities three possibilities that i can fall in b grade or i can fall in c grade or i am fail so if this condition is false even though there will be three possibilities still there are three possibilities so we cannot blindly say that you are fail or you are having b grade we need to check out of these three which is true so that we have put another condition here that if marks is not greater than 80 it's fine but whether the marks is greater than 60 or not if it is greater than 60 then we will be printing b grade 
Now, if this condition is false, we will come over here. It means when we come over here, when this is false and this is false, means I am not having mark greater than 80. I am also not having mark greater than 60. So now, still I have two possibilities, possibilities to check whether I have more than 40 marks or I have less than 40 marks. So still there is, there are two possibilities. So I need to go for if statement along with else, else if statement and we need to check. It's fine that you don't have more than 80, you don't have more than 60, but do you have more than 40? So no, I don't have more than 40. Then this condition also becomes false. So first is false, second is false, third is false. So out of four possibilities, three possibilities, three possibilities are already not possible or we can say it is false. Now how many possibilities are left? Only one possibility is left. So now we don't have any choice. If I am not having A grade, if I am not having B grade, if I am not having C grade, then it implicitly says that you are fail. आप कोई फ्रेंड है तो उसको आप पूछते हो कि क्या आपका रिजल्ट क्या आया? 80 परसेंट से ज्यादा आया? नहीं उतना नहीं आया। 60 से ज्यादा आया? नहीं वो भी नहीं आया। 40 से ज्यादा आया? नहीं वो भी नहीं आया। तो आप क्या पूछोगे कि तो आप फेल हुए? We will not be asking like that. If it is not more than 40, हमको समझ जाना चाहिए कि वो बंदा फेल हुआ है। वैसे ही अगर आपकी ये तीनों कंडीशन फॉल्स हो गई है, then on then we need not to check for another condition. We'll directly print. We'll directly print it is fail because out of four, three are already false. Then implicitly the fourth condition is or fourth situation will execute so that we have four options so you can check out one option is there with if one option is there with else so how many else if letters are there we have two else if letters so suppose we have six possibilities then you think about it how many else if letter we need to use out of six one is with if one is with else so there are four possibilities still remaining so you need to use four else if later. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching the video.